just filming some of these uh, upright basket maker pit houses. They're all along this wash. Just a little wash like that. You see these uprights right here? They go in a circle right there. Those are about almost three feet, two feet, more than two feet, like a little bit longer. And they're in there. And they lived up under these trees right along the creek. Must have just been get starting to get their corn. There's some more over there. I took a picture of them. I guess I could walk back over there. See them right there? Hey, Beepy. What you doing? She don't care. Cinnamon? She bit a she bit a porcupine just about two hours ago. Had to pull about five things out of her mouth. I yelled my head off at her, but she went and bit it anyways, like a fool. Like a fool! All right, look, check it out. This is badass. Look at this. Look at this. There was a whole bunch of them. There's one here. They're all up under here. You just... Those are some. But they're all just washing away. Down this wash, whenever it washes. This stuff's... Basket Maker 3 stuff. Maybe even Basket Maker 2 because there really isn't a lot of pottery around here. There really isn't. There's smoothware, so it's like some cooking stuff. Anyways, it went all along this ridge. They're all washed out, see? There's rocks everywhere. And then they're all buried. And people come up, tear them up, dig them up, whatever. Thinking they're going to find a pot or something. See all them rocks? Oh, this is pretty cool. I think there's a couple more. There's some there's some uprights right there. Yep, yep. It's right at the top of that, I think. The truck is. Oh. While well, I was walking back there, we're headed back to the truck. Right here is a circle of uprights. And there's more up this creek, I think, here. Anyways, we're walking back there. There's a lot of fake me outs and busted rocks and black rocks and all kinds of stuff. See them all? I just look like it. And when I was swooping by, I looked down and I thought I seen ears and something. And I sure scored. Look at that. What a pretty little arrowhead. Veiny. I didn't know you guys or I would have filmed it. Believe me. Look, there's another circle right there. There's more basket maker pit houses there. There's something right up under there. Look at that. Holy shit. Is this live action? Live action. Nope. It wasn't. But there's another circle of rocks. Ow. Sorry, I had <laughs> surgery on my ankle. It's still sore right here. Still some spots on it sore, but I'm out hiking. I can't sit. You know, I sat for... Uh, I laid in bed for about four days, but... I just, I'm hyperactive. I have ADHD and I can't sit still. So I just gotta go. That's what I do, I guess. Hope I'm not messing anything up. I mean, they say use the pain as your guide, so. Anyways, I think they live all around here because all the washes and all these rocks hold water. There's a lot of trash, though. There's a lot of trash out here. All right, well, back on the road. Let's see. They're going up here. Hey, Great Basin, man, you ought to come on out. It'll be fun. We'll take you out hiking out here. We want to go out where you go. We want to find one of them charm stones. Uh, I can show you. We got a stone bowl I found. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, we got tons of arrowheads. Been doing it for 34 years. Well, 33, sorry. I lived here 34 now. My well, first year I didn't know about it. <laughs> yeah, we're out hanging drywall out in a place called Winchester. And it's on the outskirts of town. I just met these two guys. They're cousins. They're from Richfield in Utah. I grew up hunting arrowheads, and they say, uh, lunch came, and we're going to go out and look for an arrowhead. I said, well, oh, look, cool. 
I didn't know what the hell. <laughs> I knew about Indian artifacts or whatever. I grew up in Scottsdale, you know. Going to Montezuma's Castle and all those things growing up. But he come back with a bottom. Yeah, I'll show you. He come back with a set of ears. My buddy Shane. Look at this. What's that? I was going to show you this, like the set of ears that he had. I have some. Anyways, it was a set of ears. I couldn't believe it. So you got to take me, man. And he did. And after that, you know, the first couple times I didn't find anything. Finally, about third time, I scored an arrowhead. I scored like a old Humboldt with the tip a little busted. And I was hooked, man. And I was just out everywhere finding my own places. And nowadays, when you first start, you just don't really know. I mean, you'll search anything, you know. And it's like, there's a lot of fruitless searches when you do that. Anyways, we're back to the truck. If you ain't a Steeler fan, you ain't shit. <laughs> Steelers are coming on. They're going to be on there in a week or so. Here's my badass square body bourbon that we take out romping sometimes. Got to drive it now and then. Pretty sweet, huh? All right. Go, go, Steelers. Happy Arrowhead hunting, everyone. We're out. Oh, I'll make a video when we get home of what we found. I'm out. See ya.